All right, Flamingos of Nigeria taking on Germany in the third place match of the FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup in India. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. And we start with the Flamingos on the ball. I mean, Abelo playing the ball forward for Aguemi Ajakaye, who gets to the ball but ends up winning a corner kick for a team. And next up, you have I mean, Abelo lifting the ball over opponent, turning and shooting. Just a nice one right there, but it was down the pipe right at the goalkeeper who had no troubles with it at the end of the day, but take none away from the strike right there. And this was the ball going into the back of the net for the first time on the day Mary Steiner slammed the ball after a scramble in front of the goal mouth and she was first on the spot right there it seemed like the first goal of the game celebrations were in referee was writing her name on the book but at the end of the day VAR call and say come check on it referee goes to check on it and we know referee normally comes back changing their mind and this time it was in our favor 0-0 zero, zero the score goal canceled this time Matilda Jansen with a power Powerful strike right into the crossbar and luckily for the Flamingos right there. Chidera Okenwa again to a 50-50 ball first playing it forward for Bayami Ajakae who makes a beautiful run forward. Gets in the box, slams it and it goes past goalkeeper first goal on the day and that made the score Flamingos of Nigeria 1, Germany 0, Bayami Ajakae top scorer and qualifiers first goal of the competition and it came in the third place match first goal of the game powerful run she looks like a baby or swallow whenever she takes off folks and I'm telling you, she might have somewhat as close to a career like Oshwala. Beautiful goal right there by Okwemi Ajakae. This time you have Amin Abelo just crashing it into the crossbar right there. Powerful attempt by Amin Abelo on the same right foot. Just smacks it. Not enough space, but she made something happen right there. And this time a ball comes into the Flamingos box. And Faye Omilana not only drops the ball, but she injures a central defender. Comfort for Lauren Shaw right there. It just gets the brunt of the whole situation. The ball was cleared out anyways, but Comfort was not comfortable, and she ended up having to be taken out of the game. An injury that ends up being her last action of the Under-17 Women's World Cup in India. As you see, the former and the current president of the Nigerian Football Federation. Next, you have Faye Omilana making another remarkable save right here. Blessing Sunday, the substitute who came in for comfort for Lauren Shaw just made a hash of things and luckily the save was made and this was another save this time made by the referee the goalkeeper was down on the ground after that action after making that save and the referee luckily stopped the game for the Flamingos right there because they did not have a goalkeeper present and this was the ball dropped right after the player was treated, sent into the area. But Faye Omilana made the save right there. Easy catch for her, showing that she's probably still okay. And this time was an even better save by Faye Omilana coming out to save the day. As you see, the player had the free run on goal. But Faye Omilana was Johnny on the spot right there. And again, Faye Omilana goes down, grabs the ball before it could come up with anything. And as you see, the nice movement by the Germans. But Faye Omilana was just ready for everything that was going to happen. And next up, you have a ball into the area and sent away. There was a penalty shout after this moment. VAR did check on it. And definitely there was none in it. And that was that at the end of the day. Kind of a close one as you see the ball sent in and the player goes for the ball with somebody in front of her. That was kind of scary. It wasn't a penalty at the end. Next you have Chidera Okenwa pouncing on a German mistake, but the goalkeeper makes the save. Once she's through on goal, the second shot blocked and out for a corner kick. As you see, the defender loses it. She makes it one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, but a great save right there, it must be said. And that shot got deflected out. And as you see, just makes a way forward. And the goalkeeper truly made a good save. And it ends up going out for a corner kick. Moving on to the second half, Miracle Usani standing over a corner kick. She sends it in and Amin Abelo connects, puts it into the back of the net. And that made the score. Flamingos of Nigeria 2, Germany 0. And as you see, a beautiful header by Amin Abelo just picks her spot and finds it with a plum right there. And that made it 2-0 right there. A second goal in the competition and her second goal with a header in the competition. 
Beautiful by Amina Bello. This time, Okbayami Ajaka with a shot right inside the box, but it's deflected and it goes out for a corner. Amina Bello with the pass. Okbayami with the strike, but it gets deflected for a corner. Timi Nunu Adeshina standing over the corner kick. She sends it in. It gets deflected. And the Didiong A Tim finishes it off. Slams the ball into the back of the net. And that made the score 3 0 in favor of the Flamingos, folks. Everybody excited, and as you see right there, the ball comes in, goes off a German player, and she was just ready right at the moment, side foots the shot. She could have went with her laces, but she wanted to make sure right there, and sure she did. Goalkeeper got a piece, but that was not enough. That made the score, Nigeria 3, Germany 0, and this a double save by Faye Omilana, stands up, makes the save right there, even though she got hurt, as you see, pushed the ball away, defense on 6s and 7s right there, nice one by Faye Omilana to save the day for a team, still 3-0 to score, and we move, this right here is what I don't like, a pure non-foul right there, she was just given that foul by the referee, Really inexplicable foul in my opinion. The ball sent in and the header is won. And that's the first goal of the game for Germany. Goal scored by Jella Vate. And as you see, she was towering over everybody. Nobody really marked her. She was free to get that header. And she did just right with it. Heads it into the ground and passed Faye Omilana. Who really couldn't do much about it. This time, a chance for the Flamingos really didn't look like a chance. Shakira Onyilola, the central defender, just sends it towards goal, and it goes into the crossbar. Goalkeeper looked like she would have been beat if it went down a little lower. This time, Blessing Sunday plays the ball forward. A nice turn by Okwaya Mia Jakae gets into the box. And she smacks it right at the goalkeeper. I felt like she should have laid that off for a Didi on Tim. Beautiful turn by her to get free. And as you see right there, I thought she should have just gave it up to a Didi on Tim. The shot was taken. The goalkeeper makes a good save. And this was a foul against Okwaya Mia Jakaye. She actually ended up being given a yellow card. And I don't understand it. If she had connected with the ball and it went into the back of the net, would it have been called a foul? I really don't think so, but either way, she was given a yellow card for the offense right there. This time, Paulina Plata shows some nice technique, smacking the ball, but it doesn't go in right there. Quick free kick by the Germans, and they send it into the box, and it actually ends up being a goal right there for Paulina Botts. It was actually called offside at first, but when you look at the replay, she was clearly onside as you see the player with the arrow on her. And she gets the ball, drops it for her teammate, who gets it past Faye Omilana. And at the end of the day, the goal was counted. And the score, 2-3, Germany 2, Nigeria 3. As you see, clean goal right there. No complaints at the end of the day. Okwayami Ajakaye making her way forward, smacks it towards goal. Goalkeeper made the save this time. And the ball again, Okwayami Ajakaye on the way forward. Tries to get it to a Didi on a team, but it's cut off and goes out for a corner kick. Don't know what the coach is angry about, but definitely was angry at that moment. Ball sent thin, and the header by Amina Bello goes over the bar. And this was Germany's third goal of the game. A top-class effort. Laureen Bender with the final touch that gets the ball into the back of the net. First shot taken by Matilda Johnson right there. Smacks it off the crossbar. And look at this. Just a beautiful one right there Lorraine Bender I believe that's probably the goal of the tournament right there folks beautiful finish by her and that made the score three all and we're going to penalties it seems like at this moment and this was a good opportunity at Didion Gatim inside the box the cushion header by Tawa Afalabi Didion Gatim just could not direct the ball into the back of the net a nice opportunity for her but she just couldn't finish that. And three all in regulation. 90 minutes done. We go straight to penalties. You know the rule. This is the third straight match. The Flamingos will be playing in a penalty. The full penalty shootout is on the channel. You can just watch the whole penalty shootout if you want to. But let's just run through it now. Faye Omilana 
All hopes on her, no substitution this time. She stays in the game. And I guess the coach was reading the comments saying why didn't she stay in the game? So she's staying in the game this time. And Germany to kick first in the penalty shootout at the end of the coin toss. And we go straight into the penalty shootout. Jella Vate, the captain of the side. And she sends the ball into the back of the net. Fate on me line up, follows the ball all the way. But she just cannot get her gloves on it. Blessing Sunday, first half substitute came in for comfort for Lauren Shaw. And she sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Beautiful by her. Makes it one all in the penalty shootout. And up next for Germany, Mary Plotner. And she picks up the ball running up and sends the ball over the bar. Just over the bar right there. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. But the ball wasn't in the right way. The ball went over the bar right there. One all still to score in the penalty shootout. Don't know what the girls are arguing about. And did y'all get to him by Elsa Queen Striker? We'll be seeing her in the CAF Women's Champions League. And she sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. That's the third straight penalty in this competition. Made one in the quarterfinals, semifinals, and now in the finals. Up next for Germany, Lorraine Bender, the player who scored that third goal. But this time, turns from hero to zero. Just sends the ball wide off target. Oh my goodness, just a sad moment right there. Aguayami Ajakaye, player of the match, either way it goes. And she just solidifies it right there. Goalkeeper rooted on the spot. Beautiful finish by Aguayami Ajakaye. Makes you wonder why she didn't take a penalty against Colombia in the semifinal. Anyways, Matilda Johnson with the penalty kick. And she slams it into the back of the net. Goalkeeper follows it once again. But just unlucky. Cannot get there on time. Goes just under. And she got a piece of it. And this time, to me, new addition, I picks it up. Really had a chance to end it. But the goalkeeper, beautiful save by the goalkeeper. Picks the right side and grabs it. Woo, good save right there. And this was the opportunity for Germany to stay in the game. Paulina Burtz. And Faye Omilana, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, telling everybody, calm down. Everybody's excited. We're waiting for the final result. And as you see right there, she was definitely behind the line. So that's definitely going to count. A beautiful save by Faye Omilana. Poetic justice that she's the one to make the save. And that's how the penalty shootout ended. Nigeria 3, Germany 2. Flamingos of Nigeria and the FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup in India as the third place team. Congratulations, congratulations to them. Also, congratulations to Germany and all the other teams who participated in this competition. A great competition it was. And definitely a big shout out to our Nigerians over there in India. Made sure they came out to support the girls. Thank you very, very much for your support. And hopefully they did you guys proud over there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.